Welcome. Space vector modulation inverter is a very popular topic in power electronics. It is simply a type of inverter that employs the state-of-the-art modulation scheme for generating a pure sine wave. The schematic of the inverter shown on the screen consists of a microcontroller, transistor drivers, MOSFETs, and low-pass filters. First and foremost, uh, let me briefly analyze the functionalities of these components that make up the system. First, the PIC microcontroller, which is this, is the heartbeat of the system, which is responsible for generating the space vector modulation switching signals uh, based on the code that was developed. Uh, practically, the microcontroller signals are not used to drive the transistors directly, as we can see here, mainly due to the fact that the gate signals for the high side MOSFETs are not referenced to the ground. Hence, transistor drivers are normally used for driving the power MOSFETs directly using the inputs from the microcontroller. And each of the control signals from the microcontroller and its complementary pair are used as the two inputs to the transistor drivers as highlighted here. Uh, the IR2112 IC adopted in this implementation was operated in bootstrap mode. This diode and this capacitor are the bootstrap components which are very critical in order to ensure that the IR2112 functions in accordance. Um, when the power MOSFETs are switched with a high frequency signals from the microcontroller, a block wave is generated at the output. But in order to obtain a sine wave at the output of the inverter, passive LC filters are designed and connected at each arm of the transistor bridge, as we can see here. At this juncture, let me run the simulation so that the results from the system can be appreciated. This is the switching signals from the microcontroller. Taking a closer look, it can be observed that the signals are typical of symmetric space vector modulation algorithm. Then, the main output of the simulated inverter is this. The three phase pure sine waves from the inverter are obvious. You can see that the adjacent phase voltages has a phase difference of 120 degrees from each other, which is perfectly in line with three phase voltage system. Thank you.